Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Life with Nicole Marie and Gary. Today, you guys, I have Culver's. It is a three-piece walleye dinner. Um, for my sides, I have uh, steamed broccoli. Both of them are steamed broccoli. We have some lemon. We have a dinner roll. So how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing well. Um, the Culver's that I went to, the customer service was 10 out of 10. It was absolutely impeccable. Um, the walleye fillets, they're, the batter on them are not so crunchy because they were in a to-go box. So, but that doesn't mean anything, doesn't mean it's not going to taste good. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. And for everyone that keeps coming back, thank you so much. We really do appreciate you. So if the lighting goes in and out, I do apologize. I hope that I've got my issue fixed a little bit here. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and uh, lay out. Oh no, there went a piece. Fan down. We're going to put some broccoli up here. I hope you all are doing okay. Who doesn't like some good broccoli? I try to I try to make things a little bit healthy. A little bit. Let's go ahead and grab a thumbnail. Okay. We have tartar sauce on the side. So let me see. So this is the walleye filet. And I'm going to use a fork to dive in. Y'all, when you get fish from a to-go spot, it's, it's really hard to get it to where it's still crunchy. But they're full filet. Mmm. Let's sprinkle dink. Some lemon. We'll put lemon on the broccoli too. Lemon's good for you. Lemon on the broccoli, lemon on the fish. Lots of lemon. So what have you guys been doing for Lent? It is Lent season. It is and is indeed. Everyone's doing fishes. They had a fish sandwich too, but I just wanted the three piece walleye. Let's see. Mmm. It's got some lemon on there. Mm-hmm. That lemon sends it over the top. Not bad for a uh, uh, price on, on the fish. Get y'all some broccoli. Mm -hmm. Gary's got the same, but he got mashed potatoes and gravy. And, uh, the coleslaw. I will say they have some nice filet. That's a nice piece of fish there. Mm -hmm. We've been craving fish. I could have zapped her in the air fryer, but that's all right. She's crunchy on the bottom for sure. Crunchy on the bottom, yeah. Hmm. 
y'all Easter's on its way. Gary's birthday is the fourth. of April. Not too sure what we're going to do for that day. Y'all, I love broccoli. Let's make a little, let's make a little sandwich with it. We have our little bun here, some tartar sauce in it. Grab a nice big hunk of filet. She's good. Let me know if you guys have had Culver's. So do I recommend Culver's? My review is yes, I do. Um, if you're gonna get fish fillets from any takeout place, I would suggest not eat it there. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how you would bring it back and crisp it up, because it can get because of the the, uh, the heat from it, the the breading can get a little soggy. you have a Culver's, head on over. Mm -hmm. Really good. Not here for much uh, with a topic or anything. I just wanted to do, jump on right quick, do a simple review. And say, hey y'all, how you? <laughs> I can't wait for this weather to ease up here in North Dakota. My garage door was frozen to the ground. We managed as a total to, to get it unfroze. I had to go get some de-icer. Then I googled a some other ways of getting it done because the de-icer wasn't doing the trick. So I had to go, um, I got some rubbing alcohol and I sprayed that down at the base of the garage door from the outside. Cause there's no, there's only one way in the garage and that's from the outside. There is no door to get inside or anything like that. So that was a challenge. So now I have to leave my garage door gapped open. And we have more snow on the way. <laughs> it's never ending. All right, you guys, this is delicious. I recommend it. You know, they have many different sides, but I just wanted some broccoli today with some fish. Kind of give it a, a healthy feel. I mean, recommend it, 10 out of 10. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next video, take care, stay blessed, stay safe. And for all of you, have a wonderful day. Bye, y'all.